Hello builders! My name is Nele and in this video I'll show you step by step how to create and test an automation using the recorder capability of SAP Build Process Automation. Creating automations can be complex and time consuming, especially if the process you would like to automate involves many steps. The recorder makes things easier. It captures applications like SAP S4HANA for example and designs automations based on the clicks you make on the screen. Screens, elements and their underlying metadata are automatically captured and properly declared. Today I'll show you how this works with a demo, using the example of creating new customer projects in SAP S4HANA. Let's get started. Before you begin, make sure that you have no tabs other than the application you would like to record opened in your browser. I start with the empty project I have created beforehand and create an application. You can see the open screens detected on my device. I select the screen displaying the logon interface for my SAP S4HANA system and click on record. The browser opens automatically. I click on the red button of the recorder interface to start the recording. From here, I'll carry out the process of creating a new customer project as usual. I created test data in my SAP S4HANA system to use for this purpose. I start by logging on with my credentials. The home page opens and as you can see, the recorder automatically detects this change of screen. Every time this happens, I'll click on the capture button to record it. Next, I navigate to the Project Management tab and record the change of screen. I select the tile Create Customer Projects and this takes me to the interface asking for more details of this new project. This is a new screen, so I click on the Capture button. I navigate to the Select Customer interface and search for the Customer ID. I capture the change of screen. I record the result list and select the right customer. I click on Capture and continue to fill in the remaining fields. I manually type in the project ID, project name and description. Filling out these fields does not change the screen, but as you can see in the recorder interface, it registers my actions as set project ID and set project name. I click on Create and Proceed when I'm done. The next step of this process consists of adding work items to the new project. I click on Select and choose the testing work item I have created, of course registering every change of screen on the way. In the next step of this process, I'll add resources to the project. In the widget, I check one of the test personas I created and add them to the project. I capture the screen and continue with assigning the team member a work package. Almost forgot to capture the new screen here. Got to do it every time. Finally, I recalculate the cost and revenue and save my new customer project. I navigate back to my home page and as you can see, the number of customer projects increased by one. I capture the change of screen one more time and that's it. I stop the recording and export my automation. I am redirected back to SAP Build Process Automation and as you can see, an automation has been generated based on the screen captures I took and clicks I made in my application. You can view the recorded screens under Declared Applications and the recorded elements under Declared Elements. If required, you can manually edit the screens to add or remove objects. In the second half of this video, I'll show you how to test the automation I have just created. My automation will use an Excel sheet containing the details of the projects I want to create as its input source. The bot can create as many new customer projects as desired. All I need to do is fill out these sheets with the details. In my example here, I would let the automation create two new customer projects. 
containing these three work packages and I assigned the resources you can see here. I created another simple automation beforehand, which extracts the data from this Excel file and serves as the input for the customer project creation loop. So let's select this loop and launch the test. I enter the file path of the Excel file I have just shown you and start running the test. The bot opens the file and interprets the data. It logs on to the SAP S4HANA system, navigates to the project management tab and creates a new customer project. The following details are all extracted from the first sheet of my Excel file. The customer, project ID, project name and description. Moving on to the work packages. For this project, there are two to be added, namely the testing work package with testing work item and the documentation work package with the documentation work item. Finally, the resources are assigned to the work packages. In this demonstration, I assigned John, who has the role of an employee, to both. Of course, all of these details can be more specific in a real-life use case. All of this would be repeated now for the second customer project, but I'll spare you that, as it is the same process all over again. So we are ending up in the project management tab again and the number of projects is increased by two. The bot was successful. Back in SAP build process automation, I can follow all the steps the bot has taken. Lastly, let's check on the projects in the SAP S4HANA system. It worked. Both new customer projects I had listed in the Excel file were created with the correct data. And that's it from my side. I hope this video shines some light on this powerful capability that we offer and maybe even inspire yourself to try it out. You can find more information on this topic as usual in our help documentation. Thanks for watching.